Um, hi everyone, so my name is Juliet and today I'm going to be showing you guys my daily makeup tutorial. Um, this is kind of like my makeup tutorial for whenever I do wear makeup. By daily I mean whenever I do wear makeup like casually. Um, I don't wear it every day, do sometimes. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like, comment down below some video ideas, and just, um, yeah, give me your feedback and make sure it's positive and all that stuff. So, um, I'm just gonna start now. So, uh, first things first. I usually do primer, but I know I'm gonna take this off, like, right after. So this is my mom's. Most of this is my mom's but I'm borrowing it for the sake of this video. And this is kind of like my daily makeup bag that I usually bring with me um, when I'm traveling and stuff. So first thing I'm going to do is concealer. I don't know why some people do foundation first. I don't. I always do concealer first because I feel like it just makes more sense to me. Um, I'm just gonna put my hair up so I don't get it in my face. I'm literally praying that this is focusing I put it on automatic focus, but sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, and I'm also going to get my mirror and set it right here. So if I'm looking to the side, that's because I have to look in this mirror to see what I'm doing. So first thing I'm going to use is this Maybelline New York um, concealer. Ooh, my beauty guru. <laughs> um, also, if you know me personally, you know I usually buy cruelty-free makeup since I'm vegan. But, um, the only reason, like, if you see anything that tests on animals in this, um, video, it's only because I either, one, bought it before I went vegan, and, um, I didn't want to, like, throw it away because that would be really, really wasteful, um, and I couldn't really donate it because that'd be kind of unsanitary, I guess, or it's my mom's and I'm borrowing it because I would never purchase anything like that myself. So, yeah, um, I'm going to use this. This is... Uh, it's kind of that type that you like, I'm using this kind of as like a base, you know like color correcting concealer, that's kind of like what this reminds me of. But I'm just going to put it on my nose, on my forehead, under my eyes. I always never know if I'm supposed to put this under my eyes or not, because usually you're not supposed to like harshly rub under your eyes, but I would usually use my other color correcting concealer from Ulta. But for some reason, I can't find it. It miraculously went missing. Also, um, I'm going to... Where is the cap? Did I just lose it? Oh, it's right here. I don't know if I should film this in the style where I just, like, rant and talk. Um, this isn't really... I don't know. I don't know, man. So, I think I'm just going to kind of talk about random things in this video. And then just kind of go along with my makeup while doing a, like, tutorial. Kind of like a mukbang, you know? So I'm just going to blend this out with my beauty blender. And always dab, don't wipe, because that can kind of drag your skin, I heard. And we don't want our skin to be dragged. Um, yeah, so... As you can tell, it's already a lot smoother. And, yeah, now I'm going to do the normal concealer. This is from e.l.f. Elf is 100% cruelty free, which is why it's one of my favorites. <laughs> which is why it is one of my favorite brands. Um, and I kind of decided to stop buying makeup that tests on animals because if you like research it, it's actually really cruel. And some people who aren't even like vegan or vegetarian don't buy cruelty makeup because they just think it's wrong. Which I'm kind of glad less people buy it, but some people just like kind of brush it off and they're like, oh, it's whatever. But once you think about it and research it more, it's actually really, like, sad. Yeah. So if you see anything that tests on animals in this video, just know I'm not trying to endorse it. I'm simply using it because I have nothing else, and I bought it before going vegan, prior to going vegan. Um, okay, let's use my fingers. I'm not sure if I should be doing this or not. Also, I kind of stopped doing makeup over the summer, but I kind of started getting back into the groove of doing it, the groove, um, because, like, I don't necessarily feel like I need it, I mean, nobody really needs makeup, but, um, it's really just a fun hobby that I'd like to do, and I kind of forgot how fun it was, and then I started again, and I was like, wow, 
This is really fun. Okay, I'm gonna put on some more because you can't really tell I put any on. <laughs> and I didn't blend it out completely. Also, I'm starting to get better at makeup as I keep on like practicing. But I'm trying to learn how to contour and um, highlight places besides my nose. Because I only really know how to highlight like the inner corners of my eye and my nose, and that's really it. But I'm getting better as I keep on practicing. Hopefully someday I'll be able to learn how to contour without looking like I have a mustache. Not a mustache, like sideburns. Whenever I do it, it just looks like I drew a bunch of lines on my face. I mean, that's technically what it is, but you know. <sighs> Maybe I should just rant while doing my makeup. Like, that would be like an entertaining video. Even though, like, I feel like when you kind of start your YouTube channel, I feel like it's important to kind of make videos that would, like, attract people to your channel, I guess. Um... If that makes sense, instead of being like, oh, like, rambling about this and that, I feel like it's kind of more appealing to talk about other things, in my opinion. The thing is, when you have a large following, people will kind of watch anything you do. As you know, like, Trisha Paytas will literally film herself going to Burger King and everyone will watch. And I don't know why I find it so entertaining, but I do. <laughs> okay, now on to foundation. I do this trick where, because I'm pale AF, I'm really, really pale, so I get, like, the lightest shade. I put it on my hand. And sometimes certain shades will actually match my skin tone, but I don't like it to be, like, completely full dewy coverage. So then I get a moisturizer. Once again, this is my mom's, not mine. And this foundation is from e.l.f. I broke off the cap. So sorry if that just looks really bad. Um, I just, the cap came off because I dropped it. I know I'm really responsible. Okay, and now I'm going to kind of just use my finger to, like, mix it together. This is probably not the best way to do it. But as you can see, it kind of becomes, like, lighter. This is really annoying. I literally can't tell if I'm in focus or out of focus. Because I have no viewfinder, and I was using this mirror as a viewfinder. <laughs> um, because I would, like, put it behind my camera. The thing is, I have a Canon without a viewfinder, because those are really expensive, I think. Oh, wait, do you have to, like, get one for your camera? I have no clue. Honestly, I should really get one. But I usually use this camera for photography and not making videos of myself. So I'm trying to use up all this product, even though I probably don't need to. Um, but it's fine, because it has moisturizer in it, so it'll, like, moisturize my skin. Remember, Juliet, pat, not wipe. <laughs> also, I feel like if I stay consistent, I feel like I can actually get a big following on here. That might sound cocky, I'm sorry if it does. But when I was consistent on my old channel, I usually wasn't. But when I got to be more consistent and I would actually post and make good quality videos, I actually gained subscribers pretty fast. Like, I had about 50 subscribers and I posted a couple videos that got a lot of recognition. And I gained a ton of subscribers. And one of my videos actually got 8k views, which was really surprising. And I would tell you guys my old channel, but... I honestly hate when people watch it because um, I made it in like fifth grade so it's really cringy and um, I made really stupid videos but they're fun to look back on sometimes I guess okay now I'm gonna put a little under here and also if I'm like doing something wrong um, I know I'm not like a pro at this or anything I'm really just starting out but um I don't know like Leave constructive criticism if you want to, but make sure it's kind of like kind criticism or whatever. Um, yeah. I'm not even sure if I'm going to end up posting this video because some people hate when I do really long videos. Personally, I love them because I can just like do something like eat lunch and I'll be watching a video while eating. That's what I do with mukbangs. Like, that's why they're so fun. It's like you just watch. Um... Okay, I have a feeling I'm putting on way too much, but it's okay. I'm just trying to use up all this product so I don't have to, like, wash my hands off. I'm pretty sure this is just going to be kind of like a chit-chat get ready with me. Like, that's kind of what people do, right? <laughs> um, 
yeah, I have a feeling that, like, people aren't going to find this necessarily entertaining. Like, if Shane Dawson did this, I would love it, because I love everything Shane posts. But, um, it's like when you don't really know the person, and they're just kind of talking to you, rambling, for 20 minutes. It's probably not the most entertaining thing you've ever seen. But you know what, it's okay, because I need to post, and this is the best I can do right now. It's been about two weeks. I've been extremely busy. I've been out with family for over Easter, and I had to go to History Day, and I was just really busy. Oh yeah, I went to Regionals, which was really cool. Um, I actually didn't get to State, but that's okay, because like it, it'd probably be a lot of work to go to State anyways, because it's just... I don't know. I'm kind of glad to be done with it. I did a documentary, actually, and it was on the Depression. And I kind of get why I didn't go through. I mean, my project wasn't the best among all the documentaries, but... Like, it was still a fun experience to be able to go. I think I've blended this enough. Like, why do we keep blending it? Okay, now on to powder. Um, for powder, I have this e.l.f. powder. It's not the best powder, but... It's pretty nice for like just mattifying, I guess. And as you guys can tell, I don't like go completely like covering up everything. Like you can still see a couple of my beauty marks and um, that type of thing. But um, that's okay with me because like I don't really mind them. But I do like covering up most of my blemishes and stuff. Also, I remember I used to like rant a lot about people complaining about me wearing makeup because they thought I was too young. But now that I'm a bit older, nobody really cares. Like last year I'd wear it and people would kind of be like, oh, you're too young for wearing makeup. And it would really get to me. It's kind of annoying. I made like a full-on rant video on my old channel. And, yeah. Um, I mean, to be honest, if you're wearing makeup as a fun hobby, but not like to be superficial or to wear like or just completely hide your face, you know? I think it's okay because, you know, makeup's just a fun hobby for me. I think if you rely on it, then that's kind of when it gets bad. I mean, not bad. That's kind of like makes sense for people to not want little kids to obsess over the way that they look. So I kind of understand what they're com like where they're coming from, but I still think that it's important to like let kids express themselves. If it's through makeup, like, that's kind of what I did for fun when there was nothing else to do. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure I'm done with foundation and concealer. You can hardly tell I'm wearing any, but that's kind of the look I'm going for. I'm kind of looking for, like, more of a clean look. But, like, you can still kind of tell. I mean, you can't totally tell that I'm wearing, like, five pounds of makeup. Um, <laughs> so now I'm going to do my eyes, like my eye makeup. Um, for this, I'm going to take my Too Faced palette. It's actually my mom's. I could never afford anything like this. And I don't know if these are edible or not. That sounded really stupid. Actually, the peach palette of Too Faced is edible. And I'm not sure if this kind is. I'm not going to eat it because um, <laughs> I don't want to take that risk. <laughs> But yeah, the chocolate one and the peach one are both edible. And I've tried them before. They actually taste really good. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but it does taste good. Okay, I think I don't have an eyeshadow brush. Do I? I'm like praying that I do. I don't think I do. Great. Um, you know, I can make it work with this, can't I? Sure I can. I hardly ever wear eyeshadow anyway. So, like, first I'm going to do the inner corners. I usually use an actual highlighter for this, but this works, too. And it's kind of easier to get off. Because, you know, sometimes it's kind of hard to get all the makeup off when it's, like, in the very inner corner of your eye. Maybe it's just me, but I don't... I always get, like, scared of getting makeup in my eye. Because when that happens, it's really uncomfortable. But this, like, is better to get off or easier. Than my other highlighter. I don't think I want to do eyeshadow, do I? I don't know. I don't even have the right brush for it today. Okay, this was intended to be a makeup tutorial, but it's kind of turned into more of like a makeup a makeup mukbang because I'm not actually eating. I'm just doing makeup and talking. 
Um, but yeah, I think, because I was going to just, like, take it off right after, like most people do. Actually, most people don't do that, but... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe this brush would work. Am I crazy? Yes. Okay, I am definitely crazy. That will not work. Okay. Instead, I'm just going to do highlight on my nose and do this. Shawnee, I don't want to. Have you guys seen that vine? It's like of Kermit singing. This dude has like a Kermit puppet and then he's like in the car and he's like holding Kermit. Oh, nobody understands your vine references. <laughs> okay, I think this looks pretty good. Like I said, I'd rather go for like casual than totally noticeable makeup. I'd rather not be able to, I'd rather have people not be able to tell I'm wearing makeup than have it be noticeable for a mile away. And I feel like, I've already said this before, but it's okay to like doing makeup, but it's, um... It's important to love yourself when you're wearing makeup and when you're not wearing makeup. Oh, that hurt really bad. <laughs> because makeup isn't a necessity, and I used to kind of feel that way. And I do this thing where I'm kind of like, if I'm really insecure about something, instead of kind of telling everyone, I don't tell people. And like, people would be joking, like, if they were to think that they're ugly, they'd be like, oh, I'm so ugly. I If I thought I was ugly, I wouldn't say, oh, I'm even more ugly because I hate it so much that I don't even want to bring it up because I don't want other people I don't want attention drawn to it I guess if that makes sense but yeah okay this hardly curled at all what the heck one two three four five I usually hold it for like five seconds that worked a bit better oh my gosh why do I keep doing that okay Okay, one, two, three, four, five. That didn't totally work out, but I think it's good enough. Now, this is from Essence. It's also cruelty-free, which is great. I'm not sure where the eyelash curler is from, but um, I probably got it before. I probably got it like a lot. Um, okay, guys, I'm back. It randomly stopped recording for some reason. But I turned it back on. Does your camera ever do that if you have one and record videos like this? It's really odd. Um, that happens sometimes when I'm not even recording, but I'm not sure why. So I'm just going to put a little bit extra right here. And I'm pretty much done. Well, actually, hmm, what else do I want to do? I don't know. Maybe, oh, setting spray, obviously, but... What do I want to do before that? Um, I could... Ooh, brush out my eyebrows. Now, this I'm not even sure if this is for your eyebrows, but this is all I have. <laughs> this is from Wet n' Wild. Wet n' Wild is also cruelty-free. If you're looking for cruelty-free brands, you don't even have to go fully cruelty-free if you can't. But... Um, if you're looking for brands and you want to know if something's cruelty free, then just look on the back and it'll be like, oh, this is not tested on animals. Or you can Google it and look on PETA's website. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals. You know that place. Um, and I brush it up and then I go like that. Like I said before, not a pro at this, so if... This is kind of like not the best makeup you've ever seen. Don't expect it to be very good because I'm not a pro. And I never really fill in my brows because um, I don't really know how to. Whenever I do, I kind of look like Pennywise. That was probably way too much. <laughs> I just got some in my mouth. Okay, I'm pretty much done here. That was really fun. Just doing it in front of camera, rambling about random things. So I should probably get a thumbnail somehow. Just like sit here and pose. There. Okay, that was really awkward, but I'm done now. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed filming it, and I enjoyed just kind of like rambling while doing my makeup. It's really fun. And um, hopefully this video will be up by today or tomorrow. 
so I can upload at least every other week. Um, stay tuned and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and yeah, bye guys! Ooh, maybe I should get a thumbnail here. There, okay, we're done.